Hello everybody, I am Kelly Atchison at EstampaBook.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, I have so many messages coming up on my screen that are weird, I don't know why. Oh Sandy, thank you for coming in. I'm like, what is going on today? So, if you guys don't know... <laughs> Facebook has changed a whole bunch of things for our business pages, which is what you're watching me on right now. And so it's been rather challenging, to say the least, because we don't get a lot of notification when they change things. And so we come in here and then we're just like, what happened to this? Where'd that go? I don't know how to do this anymore. It's just like, it's such a nightmare. That's where my love-hate relationship comes in with Facebook because they're just not real user-friendly to people who are using this as a business for their business purposes. So good grief. Um, tonight, I couldn't find out, I couldn't figure out how to unpin my video from last week. And I always keep it pinned at the top of my page so that when you go to my page, it's easy for you to find. Well, what happens if I leave it pinned from last week when I'm coming on this week, everybody goes and starts watching that video instead of this one. So it's just a whole like, ugh, whole thing. Anyways, I am happy to be here. It is July 17th. And we have a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to bring up my live right now so that I can see your comments coming in. And let's see. There we go. There's our comments. I'm going to leave it this way, I think, because that's easier for me to look at. And put my iPad over here so when I flip my camera around, I can see everything. Right now I have a message going across my screen this way, a message going across my screen this way, and I don't know why. It says, try another way of going live during your broadcast. You can now add up to three guests to your broadcast. Well, I don't want to do that, so I want these messages to go away. And I don't, But I don't want to turn you guys off by accident. Let me see if I can get it out of there. It won't go away. I'm not kidding. Push my luck. Hi, Vicky from Australia. Welcome. We've got Shawnee in here from Maryland and Sharon who has liked and shared. And Luba just pushed the button to join me on my video, but I know that was an accident, Luba, so don't worry. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we have had a crazy weekend. I was not sure that I was going to be live tonight because um, we had family here. We had a great big party yesterday, and it was supposed to be just a graduation party for AJ, not meaning just a graduation party, but it was going to be only AJ's party. And AJ is my, well, it's Steve's oldest grandson, so my oldest grandson, and um, we decided to turn it into a big pool party because we used to have a big pool party every year around the 4th of July weekend. It was Haley's birthday on the 1st, my dad's birthday on the 1st, mine on the 7th, my brother's on the 11th, our anniversary on the 4th, and we just had all these things in July. So we would have this huge party. And we haven't done that for several years now. So we decided, me and Anna cooked, Anna really cooked this up, and then I went right along with it. I was like fully on board. She says, I would like to have a big party. Let's just make it an everything party. We'll celebrate your birthday, um, yours and dad's anniversary, AJ's um, graduation. Let's just make it a big party. We're going to hire live music and all the things. So Anna hired the live music, and it's a friend of hers who her sister-in-law was in a band with Adam Lee is his name. And if you guys are local and you need entertainment for a party, Oh my gosh, he did a phenomenal job. Like everybody at the party was just like, whoa, this is so cool. So um, we had um, a live music. And then you guys know that my stepdaughter, Stephanie, is one of the lead singers in a band. And she um, sang with him many, many, many times yesterday afternoon. And oh my gosh, I just love her voice. It's so deep and rich and amazing. So we had lots of people here, lots of swimming. Nobody drowned in. Um, this is always a bonus for us because we worry about that, right? It's crazy, but when you have a lot of people at a party, 
it's easy to lose track of children in the pool, so we really have to pay super close attention. And somebody was always watching that pool, and I walk around and I'm looking, and yep, there's Adam Lee's wife standing right at the fence watching all the kids in the pool. Oh, there's my stepson Steven standing by the garage watching all the kids in the pool. So it's it like takes a village, right? So we had a fantastic party. Um, we started yesterday at around one o'clock and we had fabulous food and um, lots of beverages and lots of people and even a little dog. My brother and his wife brought their little dog. She's super cute. Her name is Lily. And um, everybody had a blast. We had bags, you know, like cornhole, those the board with the holes in it where you throw the bean bags. We had that out in the backyard and it was just phenomenal. It was really, really fun. And then our neighbors called the cops on us. <laughs> it's like, oh goodness gracious. So that was a whole other thing. But um, it wasn't because of the loud music, because we uh, we weren't breaking any um, rules about, I, what do they call that when it, you're too loud? Um, because those happen at night, right? You can't play loud music after a certain point at night. So um, we didn't do that because our music was over by 7 o'clock, I think. But somebody parked their vehicle a little bit too close to their driveway. Like, it was over a little bit. And I did see them come home, and they got in their driveway fine. And then the police showed up. And <laughs> I just really don't have anything very nice to say about the whole situation. <laughs> because we don't live in a neighborhood where we call police on each other. Like, that's not... No, it wasn't John, Debbie. It wasn't John, believe me. But we don't, we don't live in that kind of neighborhood. We don't do that. If we have a problem with something, we go talk to somebody or write a note and put it on the windshield saying, please, you know, please make sure that you're not crossing over our driveway next time you're parked here or whatever. But yeah, oh my goodness, Pamela says the cops. I'm like, yeah, right. Um, noise pollution. No, it wasn't noise pollution. <laughs> um, anyways, it kind of backfired. And I we know that our neighbors on the other side are mad at us right now. And it has to do with the weeds and you sprayed the weeds and oh, but it's a whole story. I'm not even gonna get into it. But um we felt like it was retaliation. And I'm sure it was, but it kind of backfired because the person that was parked in their driveway or close too close to their driveway, they weren't at our party. <laughs> did you <laughs> but so it was super funny because it's like huh <laughs> yeah they were actually out boating with our neighbors across the street so you know not only has the neighbor kind of made a mess out of things here but now I'm sure the lady across the street's not too happy either so we yeah that's all I'm gonna say this is a place to have fun but I thought it was pretty funny <laughs> so I thought I'd share that with you guys Noise ordinance. Yeah, we don't, that only goes into effect if you're playing loud music at night. And our music wasn't obnoxious, you know, like it wasn't like blasting out the whole neighborhood. But the neighbor over there, Lisa, Haley and her daughter used to play soccer together. She messaged me on Facebook and said, thanks for the great live music, neighbor. <laughs> so I was like, you're welcome. But it really was good music. Like, it was fantastic. And we had such a good time. And I know, Anna says that's hilarious. I'm like, I know, right? Whatever. But we don't live in a neighborhood where we call the police on each other. As a matter of fact, we had somebody, um, a friend, who had a little run-in with a girlfriend. And so the girlfriend called the police on this person. And the sheriff showed up at our house. And when that happened... I said to Steve, I said, um, he needs to leave. Like, we can't have the police showing up at our house. This is not okay. This is not how we operate in our neighborhood. Like, that really bothered me. So um, Steve did tell him he needed to leave. <laughs> like, you can't be here anymore. We can't have this. Yeah, really, Lisa, the cops. Yeah, it was pretty weird. But <laughs> not a good party unless the cops show up. <laughs> you know, we have had parties. We've lived here a long time, and we've had parties, and... They've been pretty late at night. Not anymore because we're getting old, right? And so are our kids getting old. But um, 
Yeah, I don't know that we've ever had the police called on us. Not maybe once for fireworks. One of the neighbors in the back got a little bent out of shape because we were shooting bottle rockets off, which we probably shouldn't have been doing. So whatever. But um, yeah, nobody's ever called the police on us. So that was interesting. But whatever. Anyways, we got a good chuckle out of it because it's like, <laughs> it wasn't us. Na, 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 na. Oh, that was mean, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. I'm kind of mean like that. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting so old, you guys, that we were, I was in bed. We had the dishes the Nesco roasters, all the things like not completely cleaned up outside, but all the dishes in the house and washed and in the dishwasher and the kitchen was all cleaned up because we were having a big breakfast this morning. I made um, French toast with Texas toast and we made um, sausage links and everybody came over for breakfast today and it was just really fun. But we had everything cleaned up and dishes washed last night and I was in bed by 1030. <laughs> so we're getting old. <laughs> But it was, everybody was gone by like nine. <laughs> it was really fun. We had a really good time. So I'm so glad that we did it. I'm so glad that Anna was the instigator of the party because even I thought Steve was going to have a holy hell fit when, um, cause he was just like, no, we're just going to have a few family over for this graduation party and we'll cater in some food, which we, we never do that because, you know, that's pretty expensive, but we did it once from the Mexican restaurant. It was like 60 bucks, big deal. That would have been enough food to feed all of us for this little party. And, um, when I told Steve, I'm like, Hey, that little party we were going to have for AJ's uh, graduation. Well, it's blown into live music and a great big party. And we're inviting tons of people. And I was waiting for it. I was like, he's going to go, what? But he's like, okay. So he was ready for a big party too. And he loved it. He said, oh, it's so, it feels so good. It's like so nostalgic to have a big party again. So I'm sure we'll keep doing it now because we're getting old. Yeah, we are. We're getting old. Who just said, you're not getting old. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Judy said, you're not getting old. You're getting wise. Well, like, yeah, you're right. But we really missed our party. So anyways, um, we had a great party. We had so much fun. I'm going to close my computer because that is playing a video too. And I have to tell you guys that it is holy Moses hot in my office right now. The sun is, it hits the back of our house and I had to turn off my fan because you guys tell me it makes noise and, um, oh, I'm going to start like, I'm going to melt here shortly. We'll be fine, but I am going to take a drink. So I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful um, weekend. Who just said that? Char said, with the cost of groceries, you can almost cater cheaper. I know, you really can, but guess what? Because we opened this up as a party for everybody to come, not just we're hosting a graduation party or we're hosting a birthday party, but since we just said, hey, we're having a party, come over, um, we asked everybody to bring a dish to pass brilliant, right? I used to make all the food for these huge parties that we had. And it would take me, I would be start Thursday night and I would be in the kitchen all night, Thursday night till about one or two in the morning. And then all day Friday, my legs would swell up because I was standing on my feet so long. It was just like, holy man. And then somebody was Kelly, why do you do that to yourself? Why don't you have everybody bring a dish to pass? And I'm like, oh gosh, that's a great idea. Um, <laughs> So that's what we did. We had everybody bring a dish to pass. And Sherry says, if you spray your weeds and the neighbors complain, you live too close. Yeah, we do. We're in a very um, old residential middle-class neighborhood and houses are right next to us and right behind us. And we're too close. We are. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit that. Um, so yeah, but we're not moving anytime soon. We're going to move at some point. But anyways, um, squirrel, where was I? I'm getting really hot. You guys are going to see some clothes come off here shortly. No, I'm just kidding. This is a family show. Let's keep it clean. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys, um, we've had some trolls on my Facebook lives and not really, I'm going to move my, there we go. Not really trolls that are coming in here and putting links into porn and all kinds of stuff like that, which they do. Um, but trolls that are commenting on your comment. So when you say, like Judy just said, potlucks are the best. You got that right. Um, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about, wasn't it? Um, so 
when you when you comment these men are coming in and saying oh i just saw your profile and you're so pretty and i'd really get to know like to get to know you like are you serious get a freaking life so anyways i just want to let you guys know that when some man is um you <laughs> put my bathing suit on when some man is messages you because you left a message on here please ignore him pop me an email and let me know because I go in and find those and I not only report them to Facebook as harassment but I also block them so they can never post on here again and I can't remember who messaged me and said hey I just want to let you know that on this comment or on this post that you put on Facebook there's trolls in there several times so I went in there and I reported them and deleted them so and blocked them because I can block them they'll never bother us again but there's a gazillion of them out there. And these, you don't respond to these people because these guys are the ones that are sitting over in some foreign country and they are trying to get to know you nice ladies so that you can send them money. And they're very persuasive and it's very sad and they're very scummy. And that's how they make money. So don't, don't fall into their little trap. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, who said I never heard a, a dish to pass? Lisa, where are you from that you've never heard a dish to pass? We always say bring a dish to pass and bring your own booze. <laughs> yeah, because we're not paying for your alcohol. That's, that's how we do it, <laughs> especially here in Wisconsin. So, yeah, things are expensive right now. You know, gas costs a fortune. Groceries have gone up tremendously, but don't worry. We don't have any inflation, so they say, whatever. Um, we're not going to go there. But um, yeah, dish to pass. And then we provided hamburgers, hot dogs, and brats. Brats, always got to have brats in Wisconsin. And the buns. And I made potato salad and I made chip dip. I've shared my chip dip recipe with you guys. It's just cream cheese, a block of cream cheese. I know my face is red. I was out in the sun all day today, though. Um, a block of cream cheese, one beef bouillon cube, dissolved in a quarter cup of water. Put the water in with the cream cheese, beat it with your mixer. You will have the most amazing chip dip ever. And it's that simple. So I made that, I made four batches of it and they all were gone. Anna brought beans and pasta salad. My mom brought a cucumber pasta salad. We had a lot of pasta salads. Um, my friend Vicky bought, brought a pasta salad. Um, we had fruit, I cut up a watermelon. That was it, that's all I did. So it was amazing. Say, bring a plate. Okay, Margaret says they say, bring a plate. We always say, bring a dish to pass. Yeah. And bring your own beer. Potluck and bring your own beer. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Okay, so that's a new saying to a lot of you guys. I didn't know that. You know, we have a lot of um, kind of rednecky sayings here in Wisconsin that people don't often hear other places. So it's always it's always fun to know when I've said something like that. I'm a, re I'm a redneck. I grew up in a very small community and we I say that in all love for all of our small communities because I'm from my my hometown was like 2,000 people um so yeah we we have a lot of funny little sayings and we call them little redneck sayings that only we say and nobody knows what they mean <laughs> so <laughs> okay so we covered the trolls then I wanted to thank you guys for clicking on like and commenting on Molly's bass that she caught she is quite the little fisherman and so is Andy uh, but you guys don't know Andy as much as you know Molly right and um she got over 570 likes and today when we were out at the pool she said to us she goes yeah like my bass post that granny put on got over 570 likes already so she's pretty impressed with that so thank you guys so much for clicking on the like and the love and making the comments under her post because she keeps an eye on that stuff. It's pretty funny. She watches my videos too. So it's kind of cute. She's like, yeah, you know, the other day when you said that on your video and I'm like, oh, you're watching my videos. She's like, oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Dina's son. I don't know if he still does, but my video would pop up on YouTube every morning when he was getting ready for school. So he would watch my videos too. I know Carl. Carl watches my videos. So anyways, um, John Report. 
Uh, John came home from up north. I think I might have told you guys that last Sunday, but I haven't really seen John much. And Steve did mention he was kind of surprised because he told John that we were having a big party this weekend. He was surprised that John didn't go up north again, but he didn't. He was home all weekend. Did John come to our party? No. No, we're not that kind of neighbors. It's it's just a, it's different. <laughs> we're very nice people, but they're very quiet and they kind of keep to themselves. And so we say hi in the driveway. That's about it. Yeah. So anyways, um, what else? I wanted to remind you guys, catalog kickoff is in full swing. Dina Barb and I have put together a catalog kickoff. It started on July 6th. We have had three live classes already. And this next coming week, it goes until July 23rd. Um, this coming week, we're going to have, I think, I don't know, three lives for sure, maybe four, because we have four lives left. Um, but Dina Barb and I are going to all be live. And then we have some special guests that are going to do a live for us. That's really, really, it's going to be really cool. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have not signed up for that catalog kickoff yet, no matter where you live, you can be outside of the United States. You can sign up. All of our live classes are pre-recorded. There are card challenges in there. Everybody, whether you live in the U.S. or not, you can enter the card challenges. Um, there's also a swap going on, which, you know, that's kind of expensive to mail swap cards and mail them back. So that probably wouldn't work. But um, if you're outside the U.S., but there's a card swap. We have mystery stamping, um, two challenges. We've got so much going on, lots and lots of giveaways, and we have lots more prizes to give away. So we've already given away some, and we have more prizes to give away. So if you haven't signed up for that catalog kickoff, get in touch with me. You can message me in an email, and I say please email me because I have people leaving me a gazillion messages all over the place, and sometimes I miss where they're at. Like, if you message me on my business page, that goes to a different place that doesn't tell me I have messages. And then I forget to go look at it. So that is not a good place if you need an answer back from me to leave a message. Um, so kickoff is in full swing. The kickoff is only $15. We also have make and take packets available if you would like to get the make and takes. There's nine make and takes um, videos for each one of them. You will get the pre-cut cardstock to make nine cards Plus, you get $30 in product included with your make and take packet. Make and take packets are $49 for um, the public and $44 if you're on one of our teams. So um, just let me know if you need help finding the registration for that. And I am happy to give you the link to get there. But it's super, super fun. Okay. Celebration is in full swing, you guys. Um, and somebody asked, did I get new glasses? I did get new glasses. Do you like them? These are to replace, these are reading glasses. And remember I said I wanted to get new glasses so that I didn't have to keep um, changing glasses because with my normal glasses that I wear every day, I can't read your comments. So I would have to change to my old glasses to read your comments and then you know, there are bifocals, so this is the best part. This is what I really like. I was always going like this. You guys can see right up my nose, and it's just not really good. It's just really not good. <laughs> so I got reading glasses, no bifocals in here, so I don't have to stick my nose up in the air anymore to you. Yay! I know. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Celebration is in full swing. Celebration will be going on until the end of August. Please remember, thank you, Judy. Please remember that um, supply it's while supplies last. So when we run out of stuff, we're done. There is no more coming in. Um, one thing that was super duper popular that we did run out of already, and we were really surprised by this, the cards and envelope packs. They are gone. So if you are putting in an order and your order hits at least $50, you get to choose one of the fabulous items in here, like a stamp set. And I know this is backwards, you guys, but I can't mirror my screen. It's just too hard for me. Um, the paper, all of this other stuff. When your order hits $50, you get to choose a free item out of here. Some of the items in here require a $100 purchase because they're bigger. Like, I think next weekend for my Facebook Live, I am going to feature the Wonderful World stamp set and designer series paper. 
This requires a $100 order. You get not only the designer paper, but also the stamp set to match. How many? Who has this? Who has this already? I'm so excited about this one. I absolutely love it. The flowers are beautiful. And I'm sorry, but there's something itching in my ear. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Um, I don't want to stick my finger in my ear, like right on the camera, because that's gross, right? So I'll just do this. <laughs> okay, this is, yes, Debbie, so she loves this set. I do too. It's really fun, and it's really pretty. That paper is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, prizes. Like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to be live tonight. I kind of told you guys last weekend that I wasn't going to be, and I was out by the pool all day. We had all the kids over for breakfast this morning and the grandkids, and then um, Haley and Jared went to work on their house, and um, Stephanie and Anna and Molly and Andy, and Molly had a friend over and Andy had a friend over. We all stayed out by the pool um, all day until five o'clock. So that's why my cheeks, you can see I'm a little sunburned. Yeah. Um, but I'm not any, well, maybe I'm a little red, but not too bad. Anyways, it was nice to be out in the sun because oh, I love me some vitamin, whatever D maybe you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay. So there's three ways that you can win prizes from me. And the first way is to leave a comment so make sure that if you're new or you haven't commented yet, leave a comment under the video so that you get entered in a drawing. Ooh, Barb says that that's her favorite paper. Yeah, I know, that pretty um, world paper. Mm, so pretty. Anyways, I have some of these cute star adhesive back sequins. These are great, but they're also, they're, they're really fantastic for Halloween cards. And these were in our holiday catalog last year. I just happened to have a couple of them left, so I'll be giving them away. Um, well, only one tonight. But for commenting last week, Denise Niblink, these are going to be on their way to you. So I'm super excited to be giving these to you. Wendy says, I crack her up. I know, right? <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> um, yes, who just said that? Chris just said, I thought you weren't going to be live tonight. I wasn't. But um, you guys know that when we have a new catalog coming out for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, it's a huge uh, swap designing time for us, right? Like we are designing swaps like crazy to swap with other demonstrators. So I just happen to have several cards made up, sitting, this is, this is what we do. We put them in little packets and I happen to have cards designed. If I would have had to come in the house today and design cards to make for you tonight, I would not be live. I would have said, nope, I can't do it. There's not enough time. It's already five o'clock. I had to take a shower so that I wouldn't smell because you guys can smell me, right? <laughs> but anyways, um, because I had cards designed, I was able to be live tonight. And I am, I, I try to keep a couple things up my sleeve so that in case I'm have a busy day or a busy weekend or whatever, a busy week, and I'm like, oh my gosh, where? how am I going to design something for my Facebook Live? I have some things in my little treasure trove, right? So next up, you can win fabulous prizes by sharing this video, and you can find a share button someplace on your screen right now. <laughs> Nancy said she hurried home from church and she was glad I was on. Oh, I know. Thank you guys so much. Um, for sharing the video last week, we have Janice Carter of Odessa, Missouri. Yay. You are going to get, oops, oh, hang on. Oh, did I dent it? I did not. Okay. Otherwise, I'd get you a different one. Um, flowers for every season, memories and more card pack. These are really fun for making cards, for using as layers on cards, for scrapbooking. But this is a whole big pack. And um, Janice, I forgot to look up if I have your address. So if you're watching this and you see, if you could email me your address, that would be great. My email address is kelly at a stamp above .com. I think I have your address, but I, I usually make sure, and you guys know that I have a terrible memory. So if you've ordered stuff from me, please don't be offended that I can't remember if I have your address, okay? Because, oh, good Lord, I'm lucky I can remember my name some days. It's not really that bad, but it's close. Okay, next up. 
The third way you can win fabulous prizes from me is by placing an order with me. And you know I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business. That's what pays my bills. This is my full-time job and I love it. So, Heal Your Heart stamp set. This is a beautiful, beautiful scripty type font stamp set. And then I have the Heart and Home designer series paper, an entire pack to go with this beautiful stamp set. This is going out to Donna Manning of Pierre, South Dakota. Congratulations to all of you. And I have your envelopes ready to hit the mail tomorrow. Um, Donna, I have your address. And of course, Denise, I have your address. Janice, I think I do, but I'm not sure. So um, email me. We'll just call it, call it that way. Okay, are we ready to stamp? I think we are. And for stamping purposes, I, hi Sarah New, I'm happy to see you on here. I get to change my glasses because now I will need the bifocals, which I can't read your comments anymore. There you go. I refuse to stick my nose in the air anymore. <laughs> Hang tight, you guys. We're going to flip this around. There we go. And if I happen to disconnect you, you just pop right back on here to my channel and I will go live again because sometimes that happens. It's, it's, uh, it's tricky business. Okay, I just want to make sure that this is pretty straight on my screen because I hate it when it's crooked. Okay, I think that looks good. Are we good? Do we look good? Yay! Okay, I gotta get a drink. Mm. Good grief. Somebody said, turn your fan on. I'm like, yeah, I'll be okay. All right, you guys. I am doing a kit class in July. And um, the Hues of Happiness is the designer series paper that we're using with this kit class. Now, I have a gazillion cards to share with you tonight using this paper. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Oh, hang on. I just, something got knocked off of here. Um, and this is part of the Happiness Abounds suite. And this is my kit class for July, Happiness Abounds. Now, with that kit class, you get the designer series paper. Oh, let me get out the glossy dots. You get a pack of these glossy dots. You get a half a pack of the brushed brass butterflies. And you get a roll of, hang on. I gotta get the, here we go. Pool party sheer ribbon, which is, oh, so pretty. So you have the, oh, and that kit is $54, okay? It also comes with eight envelopes. Pre-cut card stock for eight cards, four different designs. You make two of each. I have a few of these left. Um, yeah, I made those already, right? Maybe, I, yeah, I think I did. See, I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, no, I have a few of these left. So um, make sure that if you would like when you sign up soon, because once I run out of the kits that I've made up, they're gone. Like I take them off, they're no longer available. But I love these dies. I love the little notebook die over here. And I'll show you these swap cards that use these dies. These, it's so pretty. We've got 11 different dies in here. The stamp set has 15 different images. And can you see those fonts? Like, oh, delicious, right? I love the fonts. I love them. Okay. So I've got my um, stamps mounted here. We're going to be using the brushed brass butterflies. I've got, this is the particular designer paper that I chose. And let me just get out all my little layers here. Here we go, here we go. And my dimensions so I can tell you. Now, there will be PDF files that you can go to my blog, www.stampabove.com. And there's gonna be a PDF file for the projects that I'm sharing with you tonight. So you can go there, you can print it out, you can save it to your device but it will have all the dimensions, all the ingredients, the ink colors, the ribbon color, the cardstock colors, and some brief instructions with pictures. So just know that I offer a free PDF for the things that I'm making tonight on my blog. If you place an order and your order is under $150, please use this host code. 
that helps me out. And that's how I can give you guys um, prizes for, you know, every time I do a Facebook Live or other events that I give away prizes for by using this code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. So first up, we are going to take this gorgeous designer series paper and we're going to decorate our envelope because I just love decorating envelopes. This is a super easy way to do it. Now you could stamp something on the front, you know, like the front left corner. You can do that. You can do whatever you are comfortable with or you enjoy. But I love, I love using designer paper because I tend to hoard it. Not so much anymore since I got on this kick where I'm using it instead of hoarding it. But this is a great way to use up your designer paper. You know that these prints and stuff only stay in trend for a while, right? So if you're hoarding your paper, like let's say I have this paper in 10 years, these flowers are probably not going to be in style anymore. So then I'll be making cards with outdated stuff that isn't going to be that attractive. So I like to use my paper. The other thing I like to tell people is if you order one pack of this designer paper, just get two. You will use more of it. You will be much happier and less likely to hoard it because you're afraid you're going to run out of one of these patterns. It's just, it's a mind game we play with ourselves. It's completely ridiculous, but it's a real thing. I do it too. <laughs> I'm not just saying you do. I totally do it. Hang on now. I'm going to see. Oh, there's my, there's my, um, my comments weren't showing up. <laughs> Glenda says, my goodness, you've been a busy lady. Yeah, I really have. Um, I have to tell you that, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm running in 500 different directions some days. You know, Haley and Jared bought a new house. And so they have been um, working on it. They painted and now they're redoing their kitchen cupboards. And so they need somebody to watch the Val and Dawson and they need help at the house. And oh my good Lord. And I'm trying, you know, I work a gazillion hours. So it's, it's been a challenge for sure, but it's been fun. And I've been glad to be included in the whole process. And I've been spending a lot of time with my little Miss Valerie. So we have um, Daffodil Delight. This is five and a half by eight and a half. You saw me fold it. Then we have a Daffodil Delight strip, and this is five eighths by five and a half. We have Melon Mambo, that's one half by five and a half. We have two pieces of basic white, two and a quarter by four and an eighth. And I know I'm talking really fast on all of these, but don't worry, you can go get the PDF. It'll be all taken care of for you. And then we have a piece of basic white that is four by five and a quarter. Melon Mambo four by five and a quarter. Now, we need some designer paper for this card. So I chose these two patterns. We're gonna bring in our brand new Jan Berry paper trimmer. Jan, I named this paper trimmer after you. I should put Jan right up here. And you guys, I'm gonna have to turn on a fan. So I really apologize. There's gonna be a little bit of background noise. I am a loud mouth, so you shouldn't have any trouble hearing me, but um, it's getting super, super hot in here. I should have turned my central air on, but I didn't. So, whew. Okay. Hang on. I got to take my crown off too. That's making me hot. And my bangs are all wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll be fine. There's stamping to do. We're going to have a blast. So we're going to take this particular pattern of designer series paper and we're going to cut this at two by four. Now, the thing that I like about this layout is you can get um, one, two, three. Actually, you should probably cut it at four first. You should actually cut it at four first and then cut it two, because you can make a whole bunch of these out of one six by six piece. And by the way, this paper comes 12 by 12. I just cut it down to six by six so that I can ship it to you. And I find that I use my paper more if it's cut to six by six than if it's 12 by 12. And isn't that dumb too? I, I don't know why. It's just, it's a thing. It's a, it's a little game we play with ourselves. So we've got this one. Then we're going to take this one and I'm going to cut it at four inches this time like I should have the first time. Okay. So now we have two here. We can cut this at four inches. Both of these pieces are two by four. 
So we've got this and this two by four. And now we could take this and cut two, two, and two, and we can make four cards with the same pattern, right? So I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Now I'm gonna take a half inch piece of this for the inside layer of my card. And let me put these back with my designer paper. I'll get my Janberry trimmer out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Okay, and yeah, Wendy says, Kelly, you are brave with no central air on. Actually, Wendy, you know what's funny? I don't really like central air. I know I'm kind of a weirdo like that, but um, I am a cold person most of the time, except when I have hot flashes on here. <laughs> but most of the time I'm cold. And so central air just really makes me cold. Unless it's unbearable, then we'll turn on the air, but otherwise not so much. Okay, I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my layer and I'm stamping the friend with memento black ink on the daffodil and now I'm going to bring in the um, melon mambo and we're going to stamp the happy birthday. There we go. Oh, isn't this just the prettiest little font ever you guys? I absolutely love it. Yeah Judy says she'd die without her air. You know what there's a lot of people like that Judy. My mom would too because she like does not like the heat. Steve and I both like the heat and we live in Wisconsin. I, I can't remember Judy where you live but um, it's very hot and humid here in the summer. And that's why we kind of like, um, and I don't mean to offend anybody in Arizona, but um, we went to Arizona to check that out for kind of a winter vacation, but we really liked Florida better because it's hot and humid there. And Arizona is hot and dry. And so if you don't like the humidity, that's a great place, Arizona. But if you do like the humidity or you're not opposed to it, we really like Florida. So. Arizona was beautiful too though. So I don't want to offend anybody that lives in Arizona, but mm, we kind of like the beach. <laughs> okay, so you've got just a tiny little border with this white here that really makes these designer series papers pop, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my daffodil card base and we're going to put on our four by five and a quarter piece and then we are going to bring in these two pieces so one of them is going to go up here the other one well I'm going to put this one on on the bottom first this is a really classic little layout but I love how it really shows off the designer paper right because you can use you can make a ton of these cards with a pack of designer paper like a ton of them so what I'm looking at here, you guys, is I'm looking at the top margin of that Melon Mambo and this side margin and making sure they're the same. And over here, this margin and this margin and making sure they're the same. So this is our layout. And then we're going to take these pieces and we're gonna grab our dimensionals, bring those in, and we're gonna add those to the back. So these two pieces are gonna go on here at a diagonal. So I wanna make sure that I'm not putting my dimensionals out here where I'm gonna trim off this five and a half inch piece. So I'm gonna put my dimensional right there and I want this centered so I'm gonna look and then my other dimensional is gonna go right there and then I'll put one in the middle, okay? And we'll do pretty much the same thing on this piece We'll go with the middle and I'm kind of lining it up with this yellow one because it's going to be the same size. We're going to trim it off at the same length. Okay. Take your pick tool. Who has this? Who has this? Yeah. Denise says if they had a beach, she'd be there every day. Hey, I'm with you. I'm not a fan of sand except for at, um, Siesta Key. That beach, that sand is like baby powder and it doesn't stick to you and it is crazy amazing. And like, it's like a Christmas miracle. You don't end up with sand in all your hoo-hahs. <laughs> Maybe that was too much, <laughs> but it is, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it right here. And then I'm gonna come in with my friend and I'm going to put that right here. Nobody needs sand in their hoo-ha. <laughs> And then we're gonna trim this off. 
So I'm using the edge of my card as a guide to trim this off. Yeah, everybody's saying, love the take your pick tool. Yep, I do too. Like this is my tool. Like I use it for, you guys see me. And lots of times if I don't say anything, you don't really notice, but I am using this for everything. The backs in my dimensionals, I use it to get my mini glue dots off the paper. I use it to put the mini glue dots on. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now, here's my brushed butterflies. And who told me? Oh, Priscilla. Priscilla's on my team. And she told me to just cut a slit in the side of my package. It's much easier to get these embellishments in and out of here than um, having to open up this flap and tuck them in and take them out and tuck them in and take them out. So just cut the edge of your packaging. And this is a really, really easy way to use your embellishments. See, so yes, to Key Beach, Sarah's on here and she says, yeah, and the sand doesn't get hot either. It's the best, it's the best sand in the world. It really is a beautiful beach. We had a great time there. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, hang on. We're gonna use one of the little butterflies and then another little butterfly I'm gonna put right here. So. Take your pick tool for everything. Oh my goodness. And then we'll take one of these big butterflies and we're gonna put that right down here. So we've got butterflies going all over. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Now, here's my inside layer. And of course I could stamp some type of a sentiment on the inside, like wishing you all the happiness you can imagine or something like that. But I think I'm just gonna leave this blank. I'm gonna add my little half inch strip of designer paper and we're gonna go just like this. You notice that this is like variegated. We've got darker, lighter pink, darker yellow, lighter yellow. I love this paper. It's really soft and pretty and it just makes me happy. That's why it's called Hues of Happiness, you guys. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm kind of, yeah, a little sassy. I did have um, a pina colada today. So our grocery store has these, these pouches and they're like foo-foo drinks and you take them and you throw them in the freezer and then they're slushy drinks. So my brother's wife turned me on to them when we were at South Park over the 4th of July weekend. So I saw them at Festival Foods the other day and I bought a whole bunch of them. The tiger's blood is really good and today I had a pina colada and Stephanie had the mango margarita. She liked that. Anna didn't like them because they're too sweet for her, but I like sugar. And then I've got a watermelon one that I have to try. So <clears throat> all you needed to know about slush drinks right here on a stamping program. How cool is that? <laughs> here is the beautiful card. Like, isn't this so pretty? And it's super duper easy. And you can make a ton of these out of just even one 12 by 12 sheet, like a lot, right? <laughs> there we go. So again that was the happiness abounds stamp set and i didn't use the dies on here but i'm going to show you a whole bunch of cards a whole bunch of swap cards that i got thank you guys so much for the hearts a whole bunch of swap cards i'm going to show you using the dies and i did use them last week and then the hues of happiness designer series paper which is just so so pretty you guys this is my kit class for July. So if you would like a kit where I've designed the cards for you, you get to make eight cards and you get a whole bunch of product with it, you'll love this class. Now, let me bring in the cards so I can share them with you. So my team does a card swap every month and several of the cards in here are from my team members. Being on somebody's team is like the funnest thing you can possibly do. Um, Anna wants to know if the PDF is already posted. No, it's not. It won't be posted until this video is done. Then I have to download this video to my computer. I have to upload it to YouTube. I have to wait for YouTube to do all its checks and balances to make sure that I'm not putting porn or copywriting anything in my videos. That's what they're looking for. You know, nasty stuff and copyright. Like I can't have any music or anything like that. And then once that's done, I'm working on my photos and my blog posts and all my links and getting all that stuff together while I'm waiting for the video. And is that more than you needed to know? 
But Anna, I just want you to know that there's hours and hours of work that have to come in after I'm done with this video to be able to, to post a PDF. <laughs> I don't do them ahead of time, which I probably should, but who has time? So <laughs> this is a gorgeous card, is it not? Look at this. This is the paper. And of course the little scalloped, um, this was sent to me and I, I don't have anything on it, but it was sent to me by one of you guys and it's absolutely gorgeous. And they use the dies to cut out these leaves right off the designer paper. Here's another one that was sent to me. This is a die that um, die cuts all those polka dots. So this is white card stuck with black behind it, you guys. That's in our annual catalog. But I love the yellow with the black and white gingham, right? And then these are um, the designer paper. And these are just die cut out of that. And, oh, who made that? Nope, I got no name. Did they write a message on the inside? Yes, this is from Julie Hillsman. She's on here tonight. Julie, this card is beautiful. Like, beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay, next up. Uh, this one, I don't know who this is from, but it's gorgeous. And here's that, here's that die, that edge die, which is so cool. This is vellum. And then they use these dots, which we use in our, in my kit class. Here's another one. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just so, so pretty. This is from Betsy Kreider. Gorgeous. Here comes another beautiful card and it's just really the designer paper, right? This one has no name on it. Here comes another beauty. Now they stamped and colored the flower and then used three panels of designer paper with the glossy dots. This is from Anastasia Radolph. Here's another one. The paper does it. There's that beautiful ribbon. I, I need to slow down a little bit. I do. Jennifer Cotton, beautiful swat. Look at this pretty one. I love all the purples, the paper, and this isn't even the stamp set. This is not the stamp set, but they use the paper with it. And this is from my friend Lori Krauss. She always makes beautiful cards. Here comes another one. These are the die cut paper, designer paper, and then they put Wink Stella on it. Isn't that pretty? And this is a fun fold. Oh, look at, look at all this. Look at this. Whoa, super cool. I really like this. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Wowzers. Uh, oh, that was by D Esplana. D's on my team. Yay, D. Okay, here comes Julie Hillsman again. Oh, Julie. Julie makes really pretty cards. Here comes. <laughs> I, I saw Wendy just said, thank you, Kelly Archison. Oh, Wendy, you are so welcome. Um, here comes another card by Julie Hillsman. And this die is just does the background like that. That's in here, the paper, and she stamped. And it looks like she sponged or used a blender brush on her flower. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Now this is a, I can't remember what Kathy told me what this was called. If Lisa D'Alessandro is on here, she's also on my team. And this is just rolled up. This cardstock is torn in a strip and rolled up and I, it's got a word. Can I do a fun fold for you like this one? Is this the one you're looking for, Anne? This one right here? Let me know. I'm gonna watch my messages. Um, oh, this was D's. This keeps falling off right here. But anyways, this was really cool. Becky loves Julie, Julie Hillsman's second card. I know, these are amazing. Like this is, most of these are my team, you guys. Yes, okay. This is what Ann wanted. She wants me to do D's card. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Not tonight, but you know. Okay, thanks for asking. Here comes another one. Look how pretty this is. This is from Wendy Sue Winter. She's also on my team. And look at this. Oh, my good grief. How pretty is that? So pretty. I absolutely love this, Wendy Sue. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's another. Here's another card with that technique. I think this is so cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, look, here we have some decorations on the inside. This is from Kathy Shaning. She's also on my team. Then we have another beautiful card. 
the beautiful paper. Oh, look at the, look at this. Look at this. This is that scallop, oh, look at that. Scalloped edge. How did they do that? They use the negative from die cutting right here and put it on the inside. That's like a separate piece. This is from Sabrina Bartels. She's also on my team. Beautiful card. Here comes another one, three strips of the designer paper, and you've got a just beautiful, beautiful card. Rolled paper technique, yes it is. That is exactly what it's called, you guys. Um, thank you, Susan, for telling me that. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, here's three strips. I love this, absolutely gorgeous. This is from Julie Hillsman. She's on my team, she's on here tonight. And yeah, I can show you how to do the rolled up DSP. This will be a great class for next time. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is from Lori Schwent. She's on my team. Look at look at this. And this is one of our new dies. There's two dies in a pack with this. I can't remember what it's called, but it's just outstanding, gorgeous, right? I showed you guys this, this last week. And then this one is from Constance Worth. Look at how pretty that is. These are die cut from the paper. And then she just used a blending brush to get a little bit of color in the back room, typed, hey there, on white, and, and popped this one up on dimensionals. That is a beautiful, clean, and crisp card, but so simple. So, um, you know what I was gonna do that I forgot, and I knew I would forget. Remember last week, I can't even find the cards that I made last week. Do you remember when I put glue on the paper that I wasn't supposed to? Yeah, I still have that here, <laughs> but I don't know where my cards went. I cleaned my office before all my company came because it was quite the disaster. It's really nice right now. It won't last long, don't worry. But remember, I, I cut out all of these flowers, all these beautiful flowers. So I've got, let's see, we've got our melon mambo here. Oh, we've got our yellows. Let's see, we've got some melon mambo. I'm gonna just look for, I think I used all my yellow flowers. Hang on. I wanted to put a flower on here. As long as I had all these die cut, why wouldn't I? Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with this rose and then I'll go with these leaves. And these are all die cut from the designer paper. You see this? If you missed last week, these are all die cut from the paper. The leaves, there's two different leaves you can die cut. Okay, hang on. Let me get this closed up. And I just put all of them in here, so I have them. But I wanted to put those on here, and then I forgot. Let's see. I don't know if I want to put it on the front. What do you guys think? Like right here? Is that? Do you like that? Is that going to look okay? What do you think? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe just like that. What do you guys think of that? I'm looking for suggestion. The yellow and the contrasting dark. This one right here. Yeah, this is really pretty, isn't it? Susan says she really likes this card. Okay, so I will do them inside. I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna put, and again, this was just left over from the cards that I made last week, you guys. So why not use it, right? To spruce up the inside a little bit and I'm gonna put those right here <gasps> isn't that pretty and I have my leaf kind of coming off the white that's okay because the fold is a little bit further over here oh my goodness great idea right yeah okay now all these beautiful cards I've got these set aside um, Kathy and Lisa's what was this called, you guys? I can't remember what that was called again. It was called Torn Something. Oh gosh, I gotta find it, because I'll forget. And rolled paper technique, rolled paper technique. Now I'll remember it. And then this beauty by D. Espana. Look at how pretty that is. What? Yeah, okay. We're on, we're on it. Let me set those over there where I won't lose them. Oh gosh, cross your fingers, people. I'm really good at losing stuff. Do you know that I lost a set of dies, new out of the mini catalog. I know that I had them. I had them with the stamp set. I still can't find them. 
I just ordered new dies and hopefully the old dies will turn up, but I need them and I can't find them any place. Like, how does that even happen? Oh, good grief. Okay, we are ready for our next card. Are you guys ready for the next card? The next card is a fun fold. I'm gonna set this off to the side over here. Oh, I can get rid of this too. Okay, whew. what are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. But like I said, I did have a pina colada earlier tonight. So, whoops, there comes my comments. I don't know why my comments go away, you guys. That's why I keep sticking my arm in here. We're gonna be using the Charming Sentiments. Now, I also have a kit class using this bundle. There is, oh, I forgot to get the dies out, you guys. Let me get the dies, hang on. I'm going to them right in here. So, this is my current dies. And I have to look through this pile. What were those dies called? Who remembers? Oh, look, there's that card that had the die on the, yeah, this is really pretty. This is called Split Card Textiles Dies. These are really cool, you guys. I haven't used them yet, but I will. Okay, we are looking for the, ch oh, there's that die that has the polka dots in it that I think Lisa used on her card. Was it Lisa? I think it was Lisa. Maybe it was Julie. That was like at least seven minutes ago. I can't remember. <laughs> I know I'm terrible. Okay. Um, where's my charming dies? Enchanted details, brush shapes. Da, da, da. Nope, nope. I think we're not gonna find them. I think they may not be in here. Oh, maybe they are. Hang on. Oh, yep, maybe. We're gonna find them. You guys are so patient, bless your heart. Thank you for putting up with all my nonsense. Marius Frames, yeah, I don't think we're finding them. I don't know where they are. But anyways, there's dies and they cut out words and they're absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know where they are because sometimes I'm just a mess. But you guys all know this about me. So this is not shocking at all. <laughs> Sorry, that was a big waste of your life, right? Okay, anyways, there are dies to cut out all of these, which is really fun. And I do have an online class. The Charming Sentiments class comes with um, Butterfly Kisses Designer Series Paper, In Color Glimmer Paper, In Color Baker's Twine, and the In Color Matte Dots. The kit is $59. You get to make eight cards, um, four different designs two of each it comes with envelopes and you can add on the bundle if you don't have it so there's stamp set and dies which i don't know where they're but they're here someplace so we're going to be using blackberry bliss and we're going to bring out the heart punches you're like heart punches it's not valentine's day nope it's not but we're going to use them and they're going to be beautiful okay uh where's my card stuff oh there it is I am going to be using this gorgeous paper. This is called Design a Daydream Paper, you guys. And this is a huge, huge pack of designer series paper. This is a host only item. So when you have a party or place an order that is $150 or more, you can choose this paper. This paper is valued at $30. You can get this whole pack for 18 bucks, which is a really, really good deal. And it's lots of fun patterns, lots of colors. Like I've been having a really good time with this paper. So this is, and it's 12 by 12. This is just half a pack because I used it for, I don't know, something where I cut it in half. Okay, here comes our cards. So let me pull out all the things. Here we go. All right. Oh, I got two of them here. That's what's happening. Okay. So here comes all of our bits and pieces. This is gonna be so pretty. So again, I've got my designer series paper and I am going to use this pretty stripe side to do my envelope flap. 
so that when somebody opens up their mailbox, they get to see all this pretty. And they go, oh, that Kelly Atchison, she sent me a card again. <laughs> right? They will just think about me with such fond, loving thoughts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who knows? But it makes me happy, so I like to do it. Okay, so we've got that. Now, here is our Blackberry Bliss, four and a quarter by 11. We have a scrap of Blackberry Bliss, a scrap of basic white. I have a strip of the designer paper that's a half inch wide. I've got four by five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter, and I'm using this pattern of paper. And so what we're going to do now, I'm going to take this and put it right on this layer. And we'll glue this right on here. Now this is for the inside of our card. And trim that off. Oh, my comments went away again. Oh, Judy's, Judy's in here. She says she loves this paper. I know, right, Judy? It's really pretty. Let's bring our Jan Berry trimmer in here. <laughs> and we are going to score this at five and a half. Okay, so we got that going on. I'm gonna fold this. I'm going to burnish that edge. Looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, well, let me flip it this way. We're gonna go from here to here and we're gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna put the point in the channel and the fold right up to the score line in the channel. Oops, yeah. So, oh my gosh, I have to tell you this really funny story, you guys. So I had Val at the grocery store yesterday. We were actually in the liquor department, don't judge. And um, she fell on the driveway and she scraped her knees up. So she's got a whole bunch of little scrapes on her knees, right? Both knees. So she had like band-aids, like four band-aids on each one of her knees, just hysterical. And this man came up, she was in the cart, riding in the cart. So she's facing that way. I went around to the front of the cart to unload the stuff. So she's facing that way. And this man came up to her and he goes, wow, that's a lot of owies. And you know what she said to him? She goes, don't touch my owies. <laughs> And he goes, don't worry, I won't. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't stop laughing. Okay, so we got this cut off. And then we are going to take our designer paper and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to, I like to kind of lay it on here so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to cut it like this, okay? So we're going to take this and we are going to put both corners in the channel so that we know that it's nice and cut directly in half. And D, you just got on. I've been showing your cards all over the place. Where did those cards go, you guys? Here it is. Everybody wants to make this one. Everybody's making it. So, oops, I can't even open it. All right. This card that you sent for your team swap, everybody wants to make this. So we're gonna do this like next week. Yeah, D Esplana, ladies and gentlemen, one of my amazing team members. I have so many of them. Anyways, I was talking about that. You guys should join my team. If you're not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! product, you need to. Like, it's, it's the best way to go. And you get to be a part of something bigger, which is super fun. My team is a lot of fun. Um, there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes that if you're not on my team, you never know about. It's a lot of fun. So, and you also, if you join during celebration, which is on till the end of August, you get a gorgeous planner. And I mean, it is gorgeous. Let me grab it. I have it right here. What? Yeah, look at how pretty this is. I haven't put mine together yet because I just keep showing everybody. But it's got all of these pages 
It's got all these, there's folders in here. There's, there's, oh, look at all these tab things. They're made out of really high quality, so they're not gonna tear off. We've got all kinds of fun stickers in here. You get this absolutely free when you join my team between now and the end of August, or if we happen to run out of these, well, then you're out of luck. But it's only $99 to join. You get to pick $125 in any product you want. And you get to be part of something bigger, which is so much fun. Okay, so back to our back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody asked if my dies are in the case. I don't put my dies in the case, um, and the reason is is because I spend a lot of time looking through my bin that I have to find dies, and I don't want them hiding in the case. I want to look at them, but I know a lot of people store them in their case, and you know, to each his own. Okay. This piece that we took off, whoop, we're gonna do that. All I did was take it and flip it over. And now we're gonna take this and flip it over and we're going to put our designer paper on here. So we're using the other side. It's kind of like the other woman, only just the other side of the paper and there's nothing sinister about it. And we're gonna get this lined up because you cut this directly in half, it's gonna, of course, be just the right size, right? Okay, here we go. Now, you get to choose. Do you want this to be on top like this? Or do you want this to be on top like this? And I like the flowers, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to see where can I bring my glue? I can bring my glue right up to here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on here. Whoops, I took my hand off. I wanna make sure I'm gonna put my glue on from here over, okay? And not a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue. Now I'm gonna put my card up and make sure that this piece right here is lined up with the back of my card. And then I know when I close it, Life's gonna be grand, right? Yep, everybody says flowers on top, me too. Yep, <gasps> look how pretty that is. What? Yeah, it's just that simple, you guys. This is like a crisscross card. I think that's what it's called, I don't even know. But it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it in here. Now, do we want it in here like this? Same thing we want it in here like this. Nope, I want this down here. Sometimes you might want to have your stripe at the top, but tonight I want my stripe at the bottom because it's kind of bold and it kind of takes over the whole thing if you put it at the top, depending on what you use, okay? <gasps> Look at, I love the colors, right? Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do with this. Hang on, there's more. <laughs> I always love saying that because it's like an infomercial. We're gonna take our Blackberry Bliss ink, everything will be okay. And again, that's from the Charming Sentiment set. This has a set of dies that cuts out all these words. It die cuts all these words. So cool. I wish I could find it for you, but I can't. And we need to just move on. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna take this and we're gonna stamp this right on our white. Oh, I got something on here. Do you guys see that? It's got something weird on there. Yeah, it's got a hair. It looks like one of my hairs. And it's gone. So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna do this again. That's why we have two sides to every piece of cardstock. Put this away. I'm gonna bring in, now this is a dual set of punches. You get both of these. The scalloped is a little bit bigger and then you have the one without the scallops that is perfect for layering. So I'm going to bring my punch in here. And of course, if you're sending a card to somebody that says everything will be okay, a heart is very appropriate for the shape that we're cutting here for this card. I think it's really sweet. Here comes our scalloped. So we're gonna add this. We're gonna cover up all that nonsense with the, the hair in it. <laughs> We are going to bring this in here and we're gonna put this right here. So I wanna get some dimensionals 
and I think I'm gonna put my dimensional right here and right here. That should work. Here comes my Take Your Pick tool again. I saw somebody say on here that they have one, but they've never used it. You get your tool out and you use it. Oh my gosh, she's so bossy, right? <laughs> I think once you get used to it, you'll absolutely love it. I use it for everything, like probably not to eat, but you know. Okay, and I'm gonna put this right here in the middle. Okay, and then here comes my favorite iridescent. What are these called? Iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. I love them. And we're gonna add some of these to this layer because this needs to be blinged up a little bit. It's kind of, you know, pretty mellow. And we're just gonna put three of those on there. These are my favorites, you guys, my favorites. Here comes our really cool card. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? Check that out. Ah! Super simple, right? Crisscross card. Yes, Denise says the pick tool is the very best. It is. Hearts, perfect for this. Absolutely perfect. Now, hang on a second because I got some other things going on here. Um, here we go. Let's do, this was another one that I cut out, but I already have it made. So I'm going to just share it with you. This is a new embellishment, this little, um, gold flower. This is the same paper. Okay. Um, it's called design a daydream in case you came on late. Here's the pack of paper. It's 12 by 12 and it's absolutely gorgeous. You can get it when you place a $150 or more order or have a party that has $150 or more. And here's the other, the other one that is the same card. I use pool party and I use a different embellishment and different paper from the same pack. But yeah, isn't that really cool too? Okay, then, but wait, there's more. Look at this. Who made this card for me? Anne English. Anne makes the most beautiful cards and sends them to me. This is the peach set. And her card goes like this. So my card is like this. Her card is like this. So you can do it this way too. And oh, I love that stitch greenery. Look at how she put that right on here for her writing layer. I thought that was really cool, Anne. Absolutely beautiful. That's my birthday card from Anne. Did I have another one over here? I thought there was one more. I guess maybe not. I guess it was delusional. Okay, there we go. So I have a kit using the Charming Sentiments. Here's just another idea you can use with that bundle. But if you are looking for my kits, you go to www.astampabove.com. And um, at the bottom of all of my blog posts are links to all the things, or you can go in the right-hand column and look for online classes. If you want to join my team and get a discount on your products, you can click on a $99 kit in that right-hand column, or down at the bottom of my blog post, you'll find join now. Celebration is the best time. Now, when you order this bundle or this bundle, you get celebration. $50 for every $50 you get to choose celebration items. And if you do not have the catalogs, please let me know. I'm happy to mail them to you. But please know that this does cost a lot of money to mail these out. So if I'm mailing you catalogs, I really appreciate your orders and it helps pay for my shipping. And of course, this is my full-time job. So I don't mince words about that. You guys, You guys know, right? You know, you get it. So if anybody needs catalogs, happy to send them to you. Just um, send me uh, your, your email me, I'm sorry, email me your address. And Anne said that she cased this card. Thank you for saying that, but we don't care. We love it. You made it. You sent it. I'm giving you all the woohoos and it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you though. Thank you so much for saying that you cased it, but it is, it's gorgeous and you made it for me and wow. Okay, I have mail. Are you guys ready to see my mail? Cause I've got a lot of mail. I wanted to keep tonight 
fairly short. I don't know how well did I do on that. Probably not very good because I'm just not very good at keeping things short. So yeah, it's already 8.30 almost. But you know how yeah, pity yak I am. Okay, here comes my mail. Good grief. Look at all my mail. It's crazy. So, I have some beautiful, beautiful cards to share with you. First of all, this just came yesterday. <gasps> Today is a day to remember. And look at how beautiful this is, you guys. This is that um, Splendid Day paper. Absolutely gorgeous. This is from my friend Cindy. She's also a team, team member. And um, she won a shopping spree from me from our team meeting. So that's another really fun thing that happens at team meetings is I give away a lot of prizes. So, and she says, here are the dimensions for the panels for this card. And it is a beautiful variegated panel card. And I just thought it was so very pretty. These were the cards and envelopes that were part of celebration that we don't have anymore. So there's that, but um, yeah, very, very cool, Cindy. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I am going to put your card over here so I keep those dimensions. Next up, look at how cute this is. This is a birthday card from, hang on, uh, from Linda Blankfield. Oh, whoa, isn't that pretty? This uses some of the elements out of a paper pumpkin kit. Thank you, Linda, so much. Absolutely beautiful. Next up, we have Carrie Maller Ely. Look at how pretty this is. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, very, very cool. It says, hello, Kelly, fluttering by with best wishes. Enjoy your special day. Hugs and warm fuzzies from Carrie, a.k.a. the Rubber Queen. Very, very pretty, Carrie. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Teresa Rhine. Oh, look at this. This is those Wisteria with that die set that I showed you. That Where did that other card go? Hang on. Oh, my gosh. It is so, 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 so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm looking for it, you guys. Just hang tight. Oh, good grief. Of course I can't find it. What happens? To this? Oh, it's right on the top. <laughs> good grief. But look at this and this. This is that set of dies. Isn't that just so beautiful? Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay. Thank you so much, Teresa. That is absolutely beautiful. Then from... Karen Martinez, look at this. <gasps> Belly band, oh, I love this fold. I absolutely love this fold. This is my birthday card from Karen. Thank you so much, Karen, it's absolutely gorgeous. And Karen also put a little note in there that is um, another thing to, Karen just hit a really big goal of hers, and I'm very proud of her, but I think she wanted to keep it private, so I am not going to spill the beans. But anyways, Karen, I'm very proud of you. Next up, check this out. This is from Karen Slowinski. This is the free hippo set and free dies. With $50, you can get the hippo set. With another $50, you can get the dies. This is only till the end of August. Super duper cute, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. This was my birthday card. Karen, you are the best. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Sarah Thibodeau. Watch this. Boop. This is a freestanding. No, it's not called a freestanding pop-up card, but it's some kind of a pop-up card. And isn't it just adorable with the little piggy? This little piggy says, happy birthday. Isn't that fun? And then you can set it, it sets on your table. Oops, hang on. Just like that. Yay, I love it. Sarah, thank you so much. This is stinking adorable. Next up, we have this gorgeous card. This is from Valerie Albanese. And don't you love these flowers? Like I loved these flowers, so, so pretty so pretty i'm sad that they retired like why 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 stamping up why here comes a present this is from millie millie sent me a really pretty card look at this Aww. and she sent me a bunch of stuff that i can give away to you guys she had some extra things she has the expressions and in ink she has the adorning designs masks 
and also a couple soft succulent um, ink refills. So I will be sharing these with you and also look at this giant magnetic bowl for my dyes. Whoa, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Millie, thank you so, so much. That was just so sweet of you. And I'm gonna set this back in here so I don't forget where that came from. But what a pretty card, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Millie, you're so sweet. Set that over there. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so I gotta share this with you guys. This is from my team member, Mary. And Mary was the one who made this amazing, amazing card. And again, this uses the hues of happiness. This is the same designer paper that we use tonight. Look at this. Look at, oh, oh my good Lord, right? And the masks. So, so, so pretty. So Mary had company coming for the weekend and she was trying so hard to get my card out in the mail that she forgot that she had also made this for me. And it's made out of the same paper. Like, look how cute it is. So she sent it and she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forget this in this. So she sent it separately. So I had already showed you guys the card, but now I'm gonna show you this. Is this the cutest thing you have ever seen ever? Like, look, it's a little, okay, I'll show you what it is because I bought some, Mary. Where did my, oh, I put them up so that Valerie wouldn't see them. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh, nope, don't stop them. Where did I put those cakes? You guys, I have some of the cakes. Oh, I think I put them in my closet. I did. Okay. I didn't want Valerie to see them because she likes to eat all the things, right? And she was up here working. So look at these. These are the cakes. That's what this is. And then she put a candle on it and made this cute little box like holy cannoli, right? Yeah, so I had to get some too. So maybe I'll show you guys how to do this whole thing. We could do the box. I have birthday candles. And I could show you how to make Mary's amazing, freaking amazing card, right? It's just so pretty. So what a nice little set. I'll put that over. Well, let me put that over here with the other things. Yeah, and my cakes, I'll probably eat a couple of these, but I gotta keep them up so Val doesn't see them. Good Lord. <gasps> This card is absolutely gorgeous. And this, hang on. This is from my friend Lynn from Australia. Where, oh, there, oh. Oh, there's an article, yes. She sent me an article about Bluey because we chat online and Bluey is a cartoon that Valerie loves. She's like, she loves Bluey. And I've actually watched it a couple times with her and it's pretty cute. But Bluey is from Australia. And if you ever watch Bluey, you'll note that Bluey has an Australian accent too. So Lynn sent me this article about Bluey and a nice note. And look at this beautiful card. Like, are you guys, look at, look at all the detail. And this uses the, I think this is the new paint the world, the world flower paper. What is it called? Good grief. Um, wonderful world. Is this the wonderful world? Oh, it's not, but it's close. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is the wonderful world. Okay. I read her note when I got the card, but I didn't read it again today, but look at how pretty this is. So this is like an easel. Uh, is that what we call that? And she cut out the windows with the rectangles. So, so pretty. She's got those brushed brass butterflies on here and then a note on the back. And Lynn says, Dear Kelly, I'm wishing you a perfect year of laughter, joy, and fun, surprises, love, and happiness. And when your birthday's done, I hope you'll feel deep in your heart as your birthdays come and go. How very much you mean to me, much more than you could know. Happy birthday, my dear friend. Lynn! Ah! I love this. This is so, so pretty. And thank you for the Bluey article because I thought it was really cute. I need to read that. Oh, this was, yeah, it, it costs a lot to send something from Australia too. So I just, her effort is like, whoa. Okay, next up, we have Denise Krieger. Oh, look at this. 
Birthday filled with happiness is my wish for you. Make some memories today in whatever you choose to do. Denise, thank you so much. I love this. I love big sentiments. So that was very cool. Here comes another beauty, you guys. This is from Anna Ribadu. Look at how cool this is. Watch. One, two. Happy birthday. I love this fun fold, Anna. Thank you so much. This is really beautiful. She embossed the flowers. So pretty. Then we have Lee, or Tammy Litsky. Look at how cute these are, the little gnomes, you guys. Look at how fun that is. I love this little pocket card. And it says, your kindness does not go unnoticed. Happy birthday. Ah, love it. Thank you, Tammy, so much. Then we have from Patty Wynucky. Oops. Look at how pretty this is. This is one of Stampin' Up's card kits. Oh, it's so beautiful. Happy anniversary. She's got happy anniversary and um, happy birthday. Beautiful, beautiful. Patty, thank you so much. Next up, hang on, I got two here. This is coming from Marsha Colbert. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. This is the same. This is the... Um, Happiness abounds, and she used Winkostella on her flowers. I love that notebook edge. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely beautiful. The hues of happiness, designer paper. Beautiful. Here comes another one. Oh, I love this one. This is from Ruth Jarda. Look at this. This is a diorama card, and these are pretty cool. Hang on, I'm gonna. It got a little flattened out in mailing. I'm just gonna get it pumped back up here. Look at this. It sits. It sits just like that. Oops. Yeah. And so how you make it is you, you score a half an inch and a half an inch and a half an inch and a half an inch. And then it does this. Isn't that pretty? Ruth, thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then you put a panel on the back to write on. Very cool. Okay. Hang on just a second. So I got to I gotta get some of this out of my... Okay, so this came from Priscilla. Priscilla is one of my team members. And look at this. I thought this was so cute. So we've been doing Wordle for like a couple months now. And she'll send me her um, Wordle uh, final numbers. And I send her my Wordle final numbers every day. It says, Great, Happy, Silly, Kelly. Hope you, oh, well, that this doesn't have nothing to do with Wordle, but I'll show you that in a minute. Hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. And look at all this. Look at, isn't this like the coolest card wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day? You know I love a beachy day. I love, this is that tray chic, I think it's called, isn't it? But I love this, the new punch, great, happy, silly Kelly. And this is, yeah, this, does, this is done in the colors that Wordle use. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's Wordle, W-O-R-D-L-E. And isn't this hilarious? If you play Wordle, you recognize this. If you don't play Wordle, look it up when the video is done here tonight. And it's Wordle by the New York Times, and it's a word game. And you get a new word every day, but you can only play once a day. When you get your Wordle, you can share it with other people. So Steve, Priscilla, me, and my mom, and Haley do Wordle every day, and we share it every day. And let us know, did we get it in two tries? Did we get it in three tries? Did we get it in five tries? Did we not get it today? And so Priscilla sent me this glass, which is super fun. But first, Wordle. How cute is that? And then she was recently in Hawaii, so I've got this beautiful monkey pod hardwood spoon rest. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys about the fire I almost started in the kitchen today. <laughs> Maybe I'll save that for next week. I did. I almost started a fire today. I'll put that on my list to tell you about next week. Somebody remind me. So these are Hawaiian um, chocolate covered macadamia nuts. And I actually had some of these when I was in Hawaii and I love them. So Priscilla, goodness, my friend, look at all of this fun. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. I got to keep these out because now I, now I can eat them. Once I show them, then I can eat them. 
Okay, I gotta I've got a ton more cards here, you guys, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all of them tonight, so just hang tight. Here comes my mom. This is what my mom sent me. I actually give her cards, so <laughs> happiest birthday to you, my favorite daughter named Kelly. <laughs> Love you to the moon and back. Isn't she sweet? Did you see the hedgehog succulent planter that my mom gave me for my birthday? I posted it just before I came on live on Facebook. It is stinking adorable sitting by my front door. And we actually went flower shopping and we saw this at the place and I went, oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Last year she got me an elephant that's just like that. It's like this stocky little planter. And this year she ran back after we went home, she ran back and got me the hedgehog. So super duper cute. Okay, this card is from Christine Hoover. Look how pretty that is. I love the use of the vellum with this punch. And of course that beautiful paper is crazy gorgeous. Christine, thank you so much. And then, um, oh, this was a swap card I think and I wrecked it because I pulled the ribbon off of it, but isn't that pretty? When I opened up my envelope, I cut the, I cut the ribbon. But this is this um, Orchid Oasis, beautiful metallic ribbon. Isn't that pretty? This is in our holiday mini catalog. Um, Here's another swap card. Hang on. Uh, oh, this is so pretty. This is from Sherry Simon. Look how gorgeous that is. I love this, Sherry. I love your colors. Absolutely beautiful. And this is um, an anniversary card. So how sweet is that? Next up, we have uh, Claudia Pidoon. Look at how cute this is, you guys. This is Baker's Twine. She made this tassel out of Baker's Twine. Super duper cute for my birthday. Claudia, thank you so much. Then we have Barbara Savoring. Oh, I love this card, Barbara. This is with our sun prints. Um, sweet, absolutely beautiful. Thank you for the birthday card. Very, very pretty. Then we have from Barbara Pike. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that the coolest? <gasps> yeah, this is an arrow card. And I think I showed you how to make these, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Did I show you guys how to make these? I feel like I did, but then maybe I did it for a Stamp Happy Academy class. Which, by the way, if you guys would like more stamping, check out www.stamphappyacademy.ning, N-I-N-G. That is a website run by Barb, Dina, and I, and it gives you just a ton of more stamping ideas, just a ton. And we have live classes in there. It's fantastic. This card is from Claudia. This is for my anniversary. Isn't that pretty? So she sent me the birthday card and an anniversary card. Claudia, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Then we've got Sherry Simon with this beautiful sunflower card. Holy cannoli, right? Oh my gosh, you guys, I say that to Val, I will yell, holy cannoli. And when she says it, she sounds like she's Hawaiian. She says, hokey kayanoe. <laughs> it's so funny, I wish I could get her to do it on a video. This is from Jamie Lency. Look at how pretty that is. This is that beautiful shimmer paper and that fun host set with the cats. And I think there's dogs on there too. Happy birthday card. Thank you so much, Jamie. You are the sweetest. Jamie, Claudia is on my team. Oh my gosh, all these people, look at this. This uses that um, Hues of Happiness paper again to die cut and the um, Happiness Abounds dies. Yeah, she's got Wink Estella on that 30 for our anniversary. Look at how pretty that is. Rhonda McGuire, she is a Bernie Missouri fan. Thank you so much. This was so sweet. I showed Steve all the anniversary cards too, by the way, you guys. He was pretty impressed. Here's a happy birthday. Time for a happy dance. This uses the curtain uh, pleated, pleated technique it's called. And this is from Rhonda McGuire. This is for my birthday. Rhonda, thank you so much. Then we have my sister-in-law, Pam, from San Diego. She's an amazing stamper, you guys. Ugh, isn't this cute? 
Yeah, have yourself a wonderful, delightful, enjoyable, incredibly special day. Thank you, Pam. Love it, love it. Next up, we have Trudy. Look at how cute this is. Oh, hang on, I gotta move my... Isn't that fun? I love this. Trudy, thank you so much. This is absolutely adorable. I love your color choices too, because they're so bright and pretty. And we have Rhea Jones. Look at Rhea's card. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love how she die cut out that leaf sprig and then put the inside of the leaves back in there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Thank you so much for the birthday card. Next we have, oh, look at how pretty this is. I love that glimmer paper. Um, this was from Chris I think it's Myles, no, Myers, Chris Myers and Diane Gangloff. Thank you guys so much for the beautiful birthday card. It is absolutely gorgeous. Next up we have, oh, look at how pretty this one is. This is from my friend Vicki Davies and that stinker. She goes, yeah, my card's probably pretty boring compared to all the other cards. Vicki, this is beautiful. That paper is gorgeous and how you used it to stamp three different images. This is just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for the pretty card. Next, we have Esther Bethke. Now you guys, I have to tell you, Esther was one of my customers when I used to do um, classes at Hobby Lobby. She is the sweetest lady ever. I haven't seen her and gosh, I wanna say at least 10 years, but she sends me a birthday card every single year. Isn't that sweet? Esther, thank you so much. She said her eyesight is going, but she's still stamping. <laughs> thank you so much for this card. I just love it. You're so sweet. Every year she sends me a beautiful card. Okay, then we have this fun, envelope from Susan Hine. Look at this. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? This has confetti in it. Ooh, ooh. And it says to us, to a girl with a sunny outlook. And Susan, this is so, so pretty. Thank you so much. And we've got this. Look at this. Yeah. Very cool. So I can actually use this to send to somebody. This is my birthday card and it's got the confetti in it, which I think is really fun. Some people hate the confetti, but I just think it's fun. Like, I have a vacuum cleaner, and I can vacuum up anything that gets away from me. So big deal, right? People need to be happier. <laughs> um, here comes my mother-in-law sent me this beautiful card. Birthday wishes from Joanne. I like my mother-in-law. I know a lot of people don't like their mother-in-law, but I like my mother-in-law. She's really nice. She's always been good to me. Um, her son, my husband, calls her all the time, like at least a couple times a week to make sure everything's going okay. You guys, I feel so blessed to have so many beautiful birthday cards and thank you so much for thinking of me and being so darn thoughtful. I can't even tell you how much it means to me. It's just amazing. So. On that note, let me see. Can I flip my camera around? Oh, let me see if I can do that. Sorry if I scared anybody. Oh, there we are. Yeah, it took my crown off because it was really hot. The fan really helped. Thank you for letting me run the fan. I know that it's probably causing some problems with the sound, but I did not faint. <laughs> right? I'm so broken. Thank you guys so much for joining me for um, Facebook Live tonight. I always so appreciate having you here. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't get to stand with you on Sunday nights. Now, next week, let me look at my calendar. Next week is the 24th, and I will be live. Um, we are going on vacation the first week in August, which would be August 31st through the 8th, I believe. We're going camping with Jared and Haley. So I'm gonna have, I think, two Sundays where I'm not gonna be live. I'm gonna try super hard to make a live not live so that I can post a new video for you on at least one of those Sundays. Um, with the catalog kickoff going on right now and deadlines to get online classes, ideas done and videotaped, I'm running a little thin. 
and the kids moving into a house. My Stephanie's moving into a new house. Um, we got all the things going on, and it's summer, but I'm going to try really hard, so I hope to have that done, but I will be live next Sunday, same time, same place. I wanted to say same bad time, same bad place, but maybe I need to go to bed now. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm doing this again because I have my other glasses on, but thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Please let me know if you need the catalogs. I'm happy to send them to you. Um, please remember to use that host code if your order is under $150. I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming your way. If you need anything, I'm always happy to help you. Please don't hesitate to contact me. But I will be here next weekend for some more Facebook Live fun. I've got those cards set aside so we can figure out how to make them. Yeah. Um, if I don't make those exact cards next weekend, maybe I'll put them in one of the Facebook Live, not lives, for you guys. Yeah. Have yourselves a wonderful night, you guys. Bye-bye.